Hey, good morning, YouTube. God bless you guys. Uh, this is July 7, 2012. Huh, brother, wake us. Oh, man. God bless you, man. I apologize for missing your call yesterday, but I just got yeah, just fighting demons. It's wore me out. <clears throat> Before I go any further, I just wanted a little housekeeping. God bless both of you that commented on the Jeremiah study. Um, God's showing me something here in Job, and this is literally Job crying out. Um, everybody knows the story of Job. He lost everything. Upright man of God, just man of God, and Satan took everything from him except his life. And God restored him for his righteousness. But before we go, I just I want to say a quick prayer that I that everybody knows we are in the right spirit before we preach or before I speak anything out of the Word of God. There you go. So let us bow our heads. Heavenly Father, I just ask that you anoint us. Anoint the speaker, Lord, that he only speaks your message, Lord. And that you give him the give him the right message, Lord, in the time and in the season. We ask that you watch over us now, Lord, as we go out this day. I pray for Ben again. Good news is that he has been stabilized completely, soon to be coming out of ICU. That's only by your hand, Lord, and by the fervent prayers of righteous people crying out to you, Lord. But we just ask that you watch out for Ben today, Lord. We ask that you watch out for Wakus and his talented ministry of music. We watch out for Creation 78, Lord, and her daily studies that she posts on YouTube. We know that the attacks from the wolves are coming. But God bless you because we're going to stand strong and keep uploading. We just thank you, Lord, in your name, Jesus, we pray. Amen. I'm trying to do more housekeeping on my videos. Uh, the problem with 
with doing a video, a live feed like this, or doing a live video, is once you mess up, you just keep rolling. The flubs are going to be there. I know you guys are going to laugh about them, but you know, why edit something six million times? If the message is what is went straight forward and shown you, then focus on the message, not the mistakes, because we know old crazy Pastor George here, he does a few, quite a few. But I want to correct some people online, and I see a lot of them that are misled, like Wakus had mentioned last night, that a lot of people are falling into the trap of making their sermons and their messages pleasing to others. That's not what God said. He said, call them out of Babylon. Call them out. If you can't call them out, then don't preach, because you're not preaching God's message, you're preaching your own. <clears throat> uh, I love my King James Version. I do. Because it's it's easier for people like us old farts to understand them. But it also shows you that God's message is the what's going to be preached. So let me go ahead and open up here to Job chapter 10. My soul is weary of my life. I will leave my complaint upon myself. I will speak in the bitterness of my soul. I will say unto God, do not condemn me. Show me wherefore thou hast contendest with me. Wherefore thou contendest with me. Is it good unto thee that thou shouldest oppress, that shouldest despise the work of thine hand and shine upon the counsel of the wicked? Hast thou eyes of flesh, or seest thou as man seeth? Are thy days as the days of man, or thy years as man's days? That thou inquirest after mine iniquity, and searchest after my sin. Thou knowest that I am not wicked, and there is none that can deliver out of thine hand. Thine hands have made me, and fashioned me together round about, yet thou dost destroy me. Remember, I beseech ye, that thou hast made me as the clay, and wilt thou bring me into dust again? Hast thou not poured out, as not poured me out as milk, and curdled me like cheese? Thou hast clothed me with skin and flesh, and hast fenced me with bones and sinews. Thou hast granted me life and favor, and thy visitation hath preserved my spirit. And these things hast thou hid in thine heart. I know that this is with thee. 14. If I sin, then thou markest me, and thou wilt not acquit me from mine iniquity. 15. If I be wicked, woe unto me. And if I be righteous, yet will I not lift up my head. I am full of confusion, therefore see thou mine affliction, for it increaseth. Thou huntest me as a fierce lion, and again thou showest thyself marvelous upon me. Thou renewest thy witness against me, and increasest thine indignation upon me. Changes in war are against me. Wherefore then hast thou brought me forth out of the womb, O oh, that I had given up the ghost, and no eye had seen me. I should have been as though I had not been. I should have been carried from the womb to the grave. Are not my days few? Cease then, and let me alone, that I take, a, a, take comfort a little. Before I go whence I shall not return, even to the land of darkness and the shadow of death, a land of darkness as darkness itself, and of the shadow of death, shadow of death without any order, and where the light is as darkness. That's Job chapter 10. May the Lord have the rich blessing on the word we received in Jesus' name. Amen. You see, church, Job was suffering. And this suffering is what we're going through in days of struggle. God shows us that we're going to have these days of struggle. And they're a test. They're a test a month when you come through. You're going to be stronger when you come through them. Don't don't think it's don't think it's for your own um, benefit, because it's not. You're going to be testifying to other people that God brought you through. He brought you through a mess. Now, I took my glasses off because I don't want to be distracted by anything out and around because I'm blind as a bat without them. <clears throat> but Job was suffering because he lost everything. God said he can do anything, Satan can do anything to Job to, to uh, just short of killing Job, to test him, to see how faithful he was. 
a lot of people don't realize what that encompasses. That encompasses a lot. Job uh, was, lost his house, his family, his land. He lost even his animals. And he was out there. He even got leprosy. I mean, his health was attacked. Job attacked, Satan attacked Job's health. Made him sick. Gave him leprosy. Made him a leper. He tore his clothing and he's out there pouring ash on himself. And dreading, um, asking God, why? Why did it have to happen? What was the purpose of this? Did I sin that I didn't know about? This is the way Job was asking. He didn't know that he, that he, he knew he had didn't, yeah, yeah. There. He, Job knew he was not a sinful man. And he was wondering why God was allowing these atrocities to come upon him. <clears throat> Just like we do. We get attacked. And we get attacked for a reason. We don't have our armor on. And we're going to be attacked easier. Satan, Satan will attack you where you're weakest. If you are of the flesh... If you have lustly desires, uh, sinful desires of lust, pornography is a trap that Satan uses. He loves pornography. Homosexuality, he loves homosexuality. Because it takes you and robs you of your spirit. It robs you of your spirit. And you wonder why Satan uses these tests. Because they are effective. Look at the world today. Look out your window. You want to see the destruction of man? Right out your window. Look right out that window right there. You'll see it. You know, people keep thinking, oh, 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 I can do whatever I want. No, you can't. You are called to be righteous. You are called to be upheld in God's commands. I mean, the Ten Commandments are the basics. You better make sure you're keeping the Sabbath holy, too, because the Sabbath is God's word. Like I said, I don't advocate, advocate to any kind of secular church or culture that they class as a Christian culture. I go by what the Bible says. The Bible, not man, but the Bible. And if you cannot understand the Bible, then you've got a problem. You need to go see somebody that does understand it, can read it, and can give you the message. But you tend to misinterpret what God wants you to do. You tend to forget that it is not us speaking the message, but God speaking the message through us to the world. You ain't going to see me many times, especially with the goofy eye, to um, take off my glasses. But, you know, I want to get right down and personal with you guys. God doesn't want us to be hateful. God doesn't want us to destroy our fellow man. He wants us to raise up our fellow man and call them out of Babylon. And you know Job's reward is he was restored ten times ten. Seven times seven times seven is God's favorite message. But he tenfolded Job. He rewarded Job so much that Job's joy was evident in the later chapters of Job. And it's because he was tested. We'll, we'll go through trials. We'll go through tests and, and the trials by fire. That's what I like to call it. We'll go through those trials. But see, if we can't give up, we have to live for Jesus. We have to live for God 100%, not, half, not half-heartedly. And you'll see a difference. God bless you guys. Have a great day. May the Lord have a rich blessing on your day from here and now forward. No turning back, guys. Just remember, God is with you always. In Jesus' name, amen.